Do fractions confuse and frustrate you? This video will make you an expert in less than 10 minutes. Are you ready? Let's begin. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to find the least common multiple of two or more numbers. Calculate the highest common factor. You will also be able to simplify fractions, add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. You will have the opportunity to solve practice questions that will test your understanding. Let's start with LCM. LCM stands for least common multiple. It is the smallest number that is a multiple of two or more numbers. For example, the multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16, and so on. And the multiples of 6 are 6, 12, 18, 24, and so on. The first number that appears in both lists is 12. So the LCM, which is the least common multiple of 4 and 6, is 12. The first method is to find an LCM by listing multiples. Let's try an example. What is the LCM of 3 and 5? Step 1. Write out the multiples of each number. The multiples of 3 are 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. The multiples of 5 are 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25. Step 2. Look for the first number that appears in both lists. The first number they share is 15, so the LCM of 3 and 5 is 15. The second method is prime factorization. Let's solve another example using the prime factorization method. What is the LCM of 12 and 18? Step 1. Break each number into prime factors. 12 equals 2 squared times 3. 18 equals 2 times 3 squared. Step 2. Take the highest powers of each prime number and multiply them together. Using the highest powers, LCM equals 2 squared times 3 squared equals 36. So the LCM of 12 and 18 is 36. Take a moment to notice how this method always gives a precise result. Try these two practice questions. Find the LCM of 8 and 20. Find the LCM of 9 and 12. Pause the video if you want to try them now. Answers will come later. HCF stands for highest common factor. It is the largest number that divides two or more numbers exactly. For example, the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. The factors of 24 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, and 24. The largest number that appears in both lists is 6. So the HCF of 18 and 24 is 6. Using the listing method again. Example. Find the HCF of 16 and 20. For 16, the factors are 1, 2, 4, 8, and 16. For 20, the factors are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. The largest factor common to both numbers is 4, so the HCF of 16 and 20 is 4. This method works well for smaller numbers. Prime factorization also works for HCF. Let's solve an example using this method. What is the HCF of 12 and 18? Step 1. Factor each number into its prime parts. 18 is 2 times 3 squared. 12 is 2 squared times 3. Step 2. Take only the primes that appear in both numbers. The common factors are 2 and 3. Multiply them to get 6. So the HCF of 12 and 18 is 6. Try these practice questions. What is the HCF of? Number 1, 30 and 45. Number 2, 14 and 21. Keep watching to check your answers. A fraction represents a portion of a whole. The numerator is the top number and the denominator is the bottom number. Examples include 1 half, 3 quarters, and 5 eighths, and so on. Fractions appear everywhere in cooking, shopping, science, and more. To simplify a fraction, let's try an example. 18 over 24. Step 1. Find the HCF of the numerator and denominator. 
The HCF of 18 and 24 is 6. Step 2, divide both by the HCF. 18 divided by 6 equals 3. 24 divided by 6 equals 4. So 18 over 24 simplifies to 3 over 4. Always check if a fraction can be simplified. Let's add some fractions. If the denominators are the same, simply add the numerators. Example, 3 over 8 plus 2 over 8 will be 3 plus 2 over 8, which gives 5 over 8. But when the denominators are different, follow the steps below. For example, 2 over 3 plus 1 over 4. Step 1. Find the LCM of the denominators to get the new denominator. The LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. Step 2. Divide the least common multiple by each denominator and multiply their numerators with the result. 12 divided by 3 times 2 plus 12 divided by 4 times 1 all over 12. That will give us 4 times 2 plus 3 times 1 all over 12. Step 3. Add the numerators. 8 plus 3 over 12 then gives us 11 over 12. Therefore, 2 thirds plus 1 fourth is equal to 11 twelfths. Subtracting works just like adding. If denominators match, subtract the numerators. Example, 3 over 8 minus 2 over 8 will give us 3 minus 2 all over 8, which is equal to 1 over 8. If the denominators don't match, follow the same steps for addition. Example, 2 thirds minus 1 fourth. Find the LCM of 3 and 4. The LCM of 3 and 4 is 12. Step 2. Divide the least common multiple by the denominator and multiply the numerator with the results. 12 divided by 3 times 2 minus 12 divided by 4 times 1 all over 12. That gives us 8 minus 3 all over 12, which equals 5 over 12. Therefore, 2 thirds minus 1 fourth is 5 twelfths. Let's look at how to multiply and divide fractions. To multiply fractions. Multiply the numerators, multiply the denominators, then simplify. For example, 2 thirds times 4 fifths, multiply the tops and bottoms, 2 times 4 over 3 times 5, which gives us 8 over 15. To divide fractions, remember, keep, change, flip. Example of division, 2 thirds divided by 4 fifths. Keep the first fraction, change division sign to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. Therefore, 2 thirds divided by 4 fifths becomes 2 thirds times 5 fourths. 2 thirds divided by 4 fifths becomes 2 thirds times 5 fourths, which is 10 twelfths. Simplify by dividing with the HCF of 10 and 12. The HCF of 10 and 12 is 2. If you divide top and bottom with 2, you get 5 over 6. Therefore, 3 over 4 divide 4 over 5 equals 5 over 6. Try these final questions to test your understanding. LCM of 4, 6, and 9. HCF of 18 and 27. 2 over 3 plus 5 over 6. 4 over 5 times 3 over 7. Pause the video if you want more time. Answers are next. Great work today. If this lesson helped you understand LCM, HCF, and fractions, please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends who are also learning math. Also, don't forget to click the notification button to let you know when we post similar videos on our Math Basics series. These are the answers. How many did you get right? Go to the comment section to show your bragging rights. Thank you for watching. See you in the next class.